Hey guys, this is Andrew, and I just wanted to show you guys today what I've been working on for the last two, three weeks, I think now. Um, just getting all the uh, pieces together. This is a uh, crystal cell that I've been working on. Um, basing now, this one in particular is Neat Pete 45's uh, version, uh, kind of. Uh, this is using. Uh, Dead Sea Salt, not the same that he showed, um, this stuff is garbage, I just wanted to test to see if any Dead Sea Salt works, which it doesn't, and I just put a bit of, I crushed it up in a, uh, salt and pepper, uh, grinder, and then I put it in there and used water and it solidified quite well and it is bone dry now, um, but it is barely putting out any electricity. So, and it's also using a uh, aluminum core instead of a magnesium core, so I wasn't getting very good output at all. So once my magnesium cores come in, then I'll replace all of these. Then I um, was able to get all the ingredients together for uh, laser sabers. Um, this is a small bit. I did just... Uh, one tablespoon equal parts of all the ingredients that he said that worked for him and then I just crushed it up no water or anything and I put it in here and you can see this one has got uh, washers on both ends uh, obviously because uh, there's no there's no water used so it didn't solidify so it's a little bit loose on the top here so I don't want it spilling everywhere uh, I kind of rushed this one since it's made out of uh, aluminum core again, so it wasn't going to put out anything of value. And these two I just built today, um, you can see they're a far better design. So, they're a lot more, um, I don't know, I guess it's just an improvement all around. You can see it's a lot more centered, whereas this one is uh, off-centered, only by like a millimeter or two, but that does you know, make it a lot more difficult. So anyways, and you can see I put a um, self-tapping screw. I had to drill a hole down through it, then put the self-tapping screw in since it's aluminum and it's a little bit harder to deal with. And I have tried putting just dead sea salt in there and it's not outputting anything. I didn't try crushing it or anything. There was, uh, not even mentionable. There was zero amperage output and there was like 0 0.023 volts. Alright, so now you can see the polarity is switched, which is kind of odd. But, anyways, we are getting um, 0.576 volts off of this. So, half a volt. That's pretty good. Considering all it is is dead sea salt with uh, water and Now right now it's it's almost completely dried up with water, so it's oh. All right, so we are getting oh Actually, that's not horrible. Uh, we're getting about Half a milliamp out of this thing almost so 465 microamps um, I when I first built this thing it was putting out 15 milliamps so that's substantially larger output um, but it only lasted we see um, 0.5 milliamps so that's that's pretty good here's our second one and now this one is uh, laser sabers uh, concoction with no water it's just uh, ground up using a pepper shaker and then I'll just uh, pound it in there. We're getting no milliamps and let's see we're getting 5.8 microamps. Ugh. So this is doing a lot better. This is uh, 0.6 volts so it's like 0.1 volts higher. So it's got a higher voltage output. Now do note these are just aluminum cores and that's why we're not getting very good readouts. But it still proves that there's something valuable there. Also I downloaded the program 
SketchUp by Google, and I created a um, STL file of a washer, so I no longer have to build my own washers. So this is my design. Um, you can see the measurements. So it was it was pretty easy to use considering it only took a few hours to figure out how to use without any tutorial or training. And that's what I created. And that should create a, a very good washer. So I've already submitted it to the local library that has a 3D printer and it will be done in a few days and I'll be able to test it out. So uh, this is how I've been making my washers to hold the mega, uh, magnesium rod. I'm using aluminum at the moment but once I get the magnesium rod and the uh, copper cylinder together is basically this little guy here this is just part of the copper pipe that I've cut off and I heat it up on the stove and then I uh, you can see the line I, it was too cool by the time I got it over there last time but anyway so I just kind of press it down in and then I pull it out now this is a really terrible way of doing it because uh, I don't know if I can show this in the proper light but like this thing had a complete meltdown. It got way too hot. So anyways, I hope you liked the video and I hope it gives you some ideas if you were looking at building your own. Um, it's uh, a lot easier than you think. I mean, this stuff, uh, laser saber stuff is very easy to find in... <clears throat> I think I only went to three stores to get the four ingredients. And I got good ones, didn't get weird ones. These Dead Sea Salts are garbage. Um, you can see there's like different junk in them. Like it's not pure Dead Sea Salt, but I found on eBay um, from Israel there was uh, a pretty good price for some. And I also found some uh, in Ontario, so somewhere locally in Canada. And I'll be testing those out in the following weeks, and hopefully we'll see some really good results once I get the magnesium cores. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Alright.